Kenshi wins. Fatality. Today, from Lumen Field in Seattle, this is Matt Football on EA Sports. We'll see Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. From the home of the 12s, they raised the banner just a moment ago. We are set for football at Lumen Field here a mile south of downtown Seattle. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Buffalo Bills. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. So first and 10 now from the 30. Allen now looks to throw. Stephon Diggs. Plenty of room in the middle of the field, and he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. And this will be stopped at the 44. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Almost a tendency breaker. Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. Trying to defend on third down. They like to put those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Allen off the play fake. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Brita will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their own 23. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. He juked him. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nickel side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Well, that one drops down. I'm look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now a throw here to his running back. That, you can get it out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. Up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Being chased out left. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. On first down, it's Carson. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They go back to Carson here on second. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down.
Wilson leaves this one with Penny. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. On third down, Wilson. He gets it to his running back, Rashad Penny. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. That's a jet sweep, Wilson with a little pop pass. Ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play. On head because they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there. And sometimes they just overthink it and don't catch the ball. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. Here comes Jason Myers for the field goal try. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. It's a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. From the offensive line and creating space for their runners, I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame, get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. To the air, Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. Hands and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. They'll run on first down with Moss. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Allen. Looking for Sanders, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jamal Adams. An interception can result. After the interception, here's Wilson. And it's a quick slant to lock it. Gets to go in the first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now it's Wilson. They set up the screen to Penny. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Looking left side on and maybe turn the tide. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Again, Wilson. And he finds Penny. Now the Seahawks stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Wilson now to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. Doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've reached halftime, Charles, for the second half. It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think they get back in. Oh. From the 36, Wilson. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now Wilson on first down. That one taken in by Dwayne Eskridge. Hard gain, second and two. Play action, it's Wilson. And he stopped after a gain of one. It kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. On third down, Carson. And Carson unable to make it to the yellow line. 54 yards away. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he 
Reynolds going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Guys, he just gave up that play. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They go right back to Singletary. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. On play action, Allen. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Take over offensively. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass first, everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. To throw again on second down, Wilson. And it's incomplete after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to put your team in some jeopardy. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. On second down, a run with Burita. And he's got a good gain of seven. Happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And for the moment, this will be a first down. But we have a marker on the field. Let's see if this stands. Block him. You can be a little bit late getting it done. Throwing is Allen on third. To the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. I feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Singletary here running out of the gun. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is, he takes care of the ball. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Football, especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over. Now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter what. Here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and out of that is that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Toward the back corner, the incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Wilson to throw. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. On first down. Throwing is Allen. Finding Knox, the good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Now you have to like the play call, because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. So and this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Bills. Emmanuel Sanders, 44 yards. And the Bills on just two plays have taken the lead. Aspen, he's back on the horse, so to speak. Love seeing how someone can rebound from a slow start or a tough start. Means that they're strong mentally. They've kind of calmed themselves down. And now this is intercepted, my goodness. 
Tredavious White with a pick. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. To go. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Back to the air, Wilson after the pick six. Now, you know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. To throw once more on second and ten, Wilson. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory here right now. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it, and they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and it would appear the Bills are going to win the football game. Very little reason to use him at this point. They'll run on first down with Singletary. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Second down and five. Singletary again. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the shotgun, Breida. And he gets halfway home for yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. again with Burita. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And this one is right through. Opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. This one, partner, we had some action all the way down to the final whistle there with the late points and then the kickoff to end it. Yeah, and the best part about it is just seeing how teams battled all the way to the end, you know. Didn't really matter. Scoreboard was pretty well set, but they still competed until the final whistle. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Seattle, so long, everybody.